and ready for the last round. Thank you for my pre uh, speakers. You told a lot of things about hybrid and online fairs and a lot of techniques which can be used. And for the next 15 to 20 minutes, I would like to show you our approach on online fairs, hybrid fairs, and uh, what we think how it should work. I will jump around between presentation and um, browser, so I hope you can see everything. If something is going wrong, please give me some feedback. So we are a company from Austria, Upper Austria. We are situated in Wales. We have 21 awesome people working for us and with us. Some of them are also in the audience and you can talk to them later on the platform. And we are also um, working with organizers of events and uh, fairs since 2009. So not only for the pandemic, also we are software company providing like handcrafted full service trade shows to our customers. So we found out or we worked out our online hybrid concept. It's called, that's how we call it. So we divide an event in, into three stages. It's pre-event stage, during the event stage and post-event stage. And how and what we are doing with these stages, I'm going to present to you. The main thing is about traveling. So mainly no one of you or just very few people will just sit into the car, drive somewhere, go somewhere and experience something without preparing for it. So what we think is very essential in our days that information is available before the adventure takes place. So you know yourself sitting on the couch, looking on booking.com, trying to find out the best spot for Instagram photos before you go there. So that's how we think events should work also in the future, to get informed, to get information before the event, then participate in the event online or in like real life. And also when the event um, took place, you can find information back then. So this is our hybrid approach. It all starts with a uh, with an event teaser, which is uh, designed properly for our clients and together with the client. So this website or this landing page, it will create leads also before the event takes place. So you can ask people to register. You can ask them to sign up for something. So it's really, really nice way to extend the event prior to the event itself. Then next step is registration. There are very simple reg registrations like just email address or there can be like more compli uh, complicated uh, registrations where you ask for uh, any uh, food allergies and so on. So from that registration on, you can start collecting more and more leads, more and more participants. And also you can create badges for the real event itself. So the events will be sent, uh, the badges will be sent home visitors can print it and then go to the event. A tool which is used and you know it from many, many other places, it's not a new tool, but it's very essential, is appointment booking. So it's very nice for the exhibitors that participants and visitors can book uh, um, appointments prior to the event. And I will jump back to our, to our, to our platform. So for example, we have an, um, a uh, job fair from an Austrian uh, Fachhochschule from a university. And I know that you know how booking, uh, time booking works. So you can just click it and you uh, book the event, uh, the, the appointment. But in the back end for the exhibitor, it's even more than just an appointment, but you can prepare, the exhibitor has the chance to prepare prior to the event for this uh, appointment. And for example, when the organizer, for example, we can, we can make uh, extended profiles for the visitors so they can upload their CVs, they can upload like interests or what they're interested in. So the exhibitor can better prepare for the real appointment. And this appointment can take place online or in the real life. So this is appointment booking. Another, another thing, what happened? Oh. Bruce just tell, told me that you didn't see the browser and I couldn't see it. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I will show it again. Just a second. Whoop. Uh, thanks, Bruce, for that. Okay, now you could see it. So this is an appointment. This is our platform. 
as I said, and you have time slots per each staff member of the exhibitor. You can just simply click it and make the appointment. But what I mentioned is in the back end for the exhibitor, it's more than this appointment booking. So he can respond to it prior to the, to the um, event. So it's like communication before the event even started. Uh, now it should work. Oh, back again here. On the event itself, there's lead tracking. So every exhibitor gets this um, uh, uh, app. They can download, they can scan the badges from the visitors and also can read the activities the exhibit, uh, the, the visitor had created before the event. So when I have an appointment, the app set tells me this person has an appointment booked or this person is interested in some special products which the person viewed earlier. And also another thing is the digital goodie bag, how we call it. So people can, the visitors can collect data before the event, during the event by, scan, by getting scanned from the exhibitor and also after the event for more. And I will show it how this is going to look. Let me switch to there again. So we have uh, the WeBuild, it's an, an unfair in Austria. And I'm logged in, I have my online profile and I can, I can browse through the exhibitors and I can save files. Oh, there's no, nothing to, to save. Let me go back. I can save, for example, documents like here. I can save the documents myself, but when my ticket is connected with my profile, it's the real ticket when I uh, enter the fair, I can have this digital goodie bag here, so I can collect data's data on the event and also uh, offsite the event, and it will be all displayed in one place. So for me as a visitor, it's a very nice journey uh, uh, through the event, and I have everything in one place. Again, so this is the digital goodie bag, and there's also one thing: it, it automatically it can detect the language of the uh, of the uh, visitor and you can share the real content with the visitor according to the language which is set. As you know, there's a lot of live streaming going on nowadays, so you can uh, use live streamings or pre-recorded videos which can be streamed or also give insights into headquarters, for example, or like, uh, yeah. you know, that's all. yeah. After the event, there's the so-called media take. You can highlight videos or you can upload videos uh, which you want to share with your visitors afterwards. This can be also very distinguished by interests of the visitors or by visitors group or target groups. So you have not only the schedule during the event, but also after the event. The presentations themselves. So on our platform, we do have, we believe in website-based presentations, which are only, which also works on uh, mobile phones. And I will show it a little later. So for example, we have an exhibitor overview. You can see the people being online, the stuff being online. When you click on it, for example, this was crafted for Siemens in this case, they have their own exhibit, um, they have their own booth designs. And there's like chat, chat integrated, videos integrated, and also downloads integrated. So with Demas, all our exhibitors to get access to our backend and they can populate their booths themselves. And for example, when you click on it, it starts the chat, which is also available with video chat and you can immediately start talking to the persons. Um, as mentioned with, uh, uh, from Meet You, it's very important to have the, the call to action buttons and to motivate uh, visitors on the trade show to get in contact with the exhibitors and the stuff. And so you can collect, so it's easier for you to collect data, 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 which you later can uh, use for analyst, analytics. As, a, as you can see here, analytics is a big topic. Um, the success of an event, and this will be one of the next slides, 
depends on the KPIs you set on your own. So like the goals you want to reach, like leads or sales or interested uh, comments and so on. So this is something you have to set yourself. And then you can analyze and also say, oh, this was a good event or wasn't a good event. And this leads me to the questions and answers. These are the questions I was uh, you sent to me and I will try to answer. So how do you prepare for an online event and, or company fair? So the first thing is take it seriously. This is something we, we found out that many people think it's just because it's online, you don't need to take it seriously. Yes, you have to. It's like prepare properly according, like you would do for an, a real event. Then define your own targets, groups, and KPIs. Like what do I want to reach with my online presentation? What do I want to reach with my event presentation? Set realistic goals. Many people think, oh, I want to do like five times more leads than I would do in a real event. So please don't do this. Uh, think about it and also set the realistic goals so you might not be disappointed later. And practice, practice, practice. Someone else said today, you need to train according to the new technology. You need to train your stuff. You need to think about, uh, is my computers, is my network co properly set up and so on. So practice, 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 because it's a new technology overall. Are there any parallels to the physical format and the essential aspects that must be considered? Again, take it seriously. You have to think about, yes, this is what I want to reach. And it's not just a website you have to fill. You have to work on it. And also you prepare for the new environment and set manageable goals. It's actually the same answer than before. What opportunities you have, especially for the online format. This is something which our clients often don't consider. For example, when you go to a physical event, you walk there, you look around, then you walk to the first booth, you talk a little bit, then you walk to the next booth. So you have to wander around until you find what you need. But on web, everything is much, much quicker. So you can filter something, you can search for something and you just click and you don't have the pathway to walk. So it's very, very fast and quick. So the attendee time will be much lower than on a physical event. And many people don't consider this as a, as a thought. So this is something we are always suggesting our clients to not to be disappointed when people are just 12 minutes on the website because that's how it is nowadays. Another question, how to control the data protection? So it's a very simple answer, ask for permission. I mean, this is the, that's the easiest thing to do. Just ask, can I share your data with the exhibitor? Set the checkbox and then, yeah, you can, you can share it. And also always be transparent in communications or ask your end or ask your lawyer when you don't know about this, but nothing should happen when you just ask the, your client. Um, another thing, Someone else discussed earlier today, how quick should we answer uh, um, the visitors and collected data? There's this 72 hours rule. So that means that you have 90% uh, chance of success when you answer or get doing something within 72 hours. So this is also something we suggest our clients collect the data and on the next day in the morning, answer all of, uh, all of your leads and say thank you for your visit and also pay attention to the details like what did this person look into it or what is this person interested in and also prepare proper mails and say thank you to them. So 72 hour rule, remember this. How does communication work? Um, it's actually very simple. We all do it right now. It's over Zoom, it's over chat, it's over uh, Teams. So you can collect data while onboarding process, for example. You know the persons who want to be in touch with you before. So you can write them, you can email them, you can call them according to your company structure and company uh, behavior. And as I uh, showed earlier before, book appointments, offer appointment bookings, write it in your email and say, uh, please send me, uh, yeah. Some, 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 some appointments. And as I said, email, Zoom, Teams, whatever fits best 
all of which also fits to your company uh, to your company behavior. Another question often we, we we talk about it and it's maybe a little funny to see this picture, but you know, 82% of the people are using smartphones. So yes, your platform, your online booth, your presentation should be mobile friendly because you never know where people are accessing your event right now. It could be on the couch, it could be on the toilet, on the bus, at the computer, wherever. So yes, 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 prepare for mobile access and also optimize all touch points to mobile. So for example, when your touch point is creating a appointment booking, then it should also work on a mobile phone first and especially there. So think about it and optimize it and make it work. What are the marks of a successful company fair or fair in general? As I said earlier, set realistic goals. Think about it. What can make my company stronger? What is good enough to make? And also de define what's most important for your company. Often we hear leads are being collected, but the marketing or the sales team doesn't know what to do with it because they maybe don't know that there is a trade show going on or a fair going on. So think about it talk to everyone involved in the process and then make up a plan and set the goals according to it. And last but not least, how to evaluate an event. Again, did you meet your goals, which are set up before? Was it successful? Wasn't it successful? Did you answer all your leads within the 72 hours? Yes, no, very simple answer. You can ask, you can check. And also if you're hyped to go for another event, Maybe you are frustrated because something happened and maybe it wasn't a successful fair. If you are motivated and want to go on, then it was successful. So that's from my side. Thank you very much for your attention.